Okay. So where did I start here? So I went to the workshop webpage, which you should have in your email somewhere. And it's also where you registered. Yes. And the way you can always find where we are is by scrolling down and seeing the day. And this has a link to all of the different material that we'll be doing. So I will first open welcome and introduction in a new browser tab. Mm -hmm. And here we go. And let's do it. So hi, welcome everyone. Um, why are we here? So these days, computing is everywhere. So it's not just a people who study computers need to use it for their work, but everyone. But programming and dealing with all the software and data is actually a pretty hard problem. And one that people are, that basic programming classes definitely don't train you for, at least not as well as you should. And the general idea behind this workshop is that everyone needs to have some certain base skills in order to do their science without barriers, produce higher quality and reproducible research, and collaborate. And that's somehow what we're going through during all of this time. So we do it by teaching about the Git version control system and then many other tools that sort of go along with it. Maybe before we go too much into that, let's talk about what is Code Refinery. So Code Refinery is a Nordic project which teaches basic scientific computing tools. It's funded by the Nordic E-Infrastructure Collaboration, and it runs workshops like this and others like it. It also runs a GitLab service in the Nordics, which can be usable by many different people if you need some sort of cross-platform repository. But we'll hear more about what this actually means in a little bit. Code Refinery is a partnership of all of these different organizations here. Um, you, well, I won't go read them. But maybe I can say that although this is a Nordic project, um, we have now participants here in the call, probably from outside the Nordics, mm -hmm. and welcome. And we we really we really want to include everybody. Everybody welcome, not only from the Nordics. Of course, we understand that we are somewhere in the Central European, Eastern European time zone. So those of you who joined very early in the morning or late in the evening, yeah. thanks for thanks for joining and nice that you are here. Yes. Yeah, and we really want Code Refiner to become much more than Nordic. It should be a cross-country, cross-institutional thing. So if you like what we do, consider helping us put on the next workshop. Okay, so who's taking part in this? There's course coordinators, of which Radovan is one of the... Well, Radovan's basically been the one that's pulling this all together, I think. But there's also many other people in the background. Uh, Radovan, would you like to acknowledge some of the other course coordinators? Yeah, so many people make this happen. Um, uh, you will, in the first days, you will see Richard and me, but many people in the background um, on coordinating um, the registration, also coordinating in-person events, coordinating the exercise Zoom. Um, so maybe I can acknowledge Matthias and Eiko, but all the instructors, we will introduce them. Um, yeah, we'll um, introduce instructors when it's when they're teaching. We've already we, introduced ourselves. You can read our name from the, actually, you probably can't read our name. Yeah. For those who are joining, I'm Richard Darst at Aalto University. And with me is... And I'm Adovan from the University of Tromsø, Northern Norway. And I should also say that we also have a couple of people helping with the collaborative document. So this also takes at least two people full time. Yeah. Um, and then we have a bunch of exercise leaders, which are helping the different small teams and things like that. But we'll talk a little bit about more about teams in a minute. So how do we actually attend this workshop? So as you may notice, this is a live stream and not a pretty typical thing. 
So the way it works is we're here, we're broadcasting to the whole world. There's no reason why anyone can't watch this. And that's the point. But then there's different ways you can take part. So you can watch the live stream alone. You can watch the live stream and you can join a separate Zoom that we have for exercises and discussion. You can watch the live stream and you can meet up in person for exercises and discussion. So for example, at my university in one room in a building, there's a bunch of people meeting who will be watching and then doing the exercises together along with the course snacks and stuff like that. So it's really up to you how you do this. So after the first day, you might think how you want to do it later. Maybe get some friends together and join whatever you'd like to do. Okay, so there's different parts of the workshop. So first there's the demos and talking where it's basically us doing something and people watching. There is type along where we're doing something, but then you can be trying to do it at the same time. Then there's exercise sessions where we explain something and then we take a pause, we mute the stream, and then it's time for you to work on it alone. And we have breaks. So we want breaks at least 10 minutes every hour on the hours. And so I can like, add here that um, today we plan three exercise sessions. Hmm. And the first one will start in roughly 50 minutes. So in the first hour, there will not be an um, exercise, but there will be then two before the lunch break and one exercise after the lunch break. We can also, maybe yeah. I should ask, why are we two here? So uh, normally many courses have one instructor, one presenter. We like to present things with two people. Uh, and why do we do that? Because we, we think it's, it's more fun to listen to. It's more engaging. It's also easier for the presenters. So we will try to keep it really like podcasty, you know, to have an interview and to keep it as a conversation. Yeah. And we also hope that we can evolve you uh, in this conversation. So more about that in a very little moment. Yes. So as you notice, we have this really interesting vertical arrangement of the live stream. And there's a specific reason for that. So the idea is you can make Twitch take up half of your screen, and then the other half is for you, for the web browser, for the workspace, whatever it is you'd like. OK, for chat and communication, we've already had shown the notes document. We used to call it HackMD, but now we call it notes. So here it is. If you scroll down, you see here under introduction, there's places for questions. So basically anytime you'd want to say something, ask a question, you open up these notes, you go to the bottom and you write a question there. And then you will have this whole set of people that are there that are watching and they'll answer it in real time. Us as instructors always have this thing open and we will be watching and we see questions and when there's important questions, we bring them up right away. And the delay here is literally only like a few seconds. So I tested yesterday, the stream delay is something like three seconds. We can see this within a few seconds. So when you ask a question or say something there, we notice it very soon. Okay, we already went over in the introduction how to switch to edit mode. If you switch to edit mode at least once, then you get, uh, it'll update when it's in view mode. Please leave it in view mode if you're not writing because um, that lets us, like we think that saves performance of the system. Uh, here's some examples of asking the questions. So for example, someone writes a question in a bullet point then answers in sub bullet points, always asking at the bottom. Never include names or other identifiers in the notes document. First off, it's public, and second off, we will archive it as the Q&A of the questions. So just don't put names in there at all. This is not like, let's make it easy for all of us. Please don't, time use to time... oh, sorry. Please don't oh. use the Twitch and Zoom chat because that becomes hard to track compared to the notes. Right on, go ahead. Yes, so we will see, we will 
watch these notes. So this is the best way to interact. This is the best way to tell us how things are going. We will try to keep this document short for performance reasons, but we will not delete any old questions. We will move them to an archive document. Mm. So if you see some older questions of you disappearing, they didn't really disappear, but we try to keep this document relatively short so that it stays responsive. Yeah. OK, so where do we focus here? So there's going to be so much information in this course. So here's what we recommend. First, you focus on the live stream if it's going on. Then, if you have spare time, talk to your team about what's going on. Then you can focus on your type along whenever you can. And then you can be referring to the lesson material web page as you can. And the notes will ask something if you need to, but it's going to have far more questions than you can read and process during this workshop. So let it be and come back and read it later. Um, we have a big community here that's watching. So nothing will be perfect. So we have to adjust to the audience. So it's a live production, not curated. Things can go wrong. Things will go wrong. But please try to understand how things are. The instructors and the helpers and the team leaders aren't perfect. None of us know everything. Sometimes we see things and it goes wrong. And we consider that just part of the pedagogy. We want to show that we don't know everything and how to fix things when it's wrong. But please try to be nice to everyone in the course. Be respectful to everyone. So everyone's at different levels, and that's expected. Everyone here is both a learner and a teacher. Try to make sure that your help is at the right level for everyone. Take the time to check in and ask how things are going. So are things um, like ask your team, ask the other people with you, are things going well? We ask the same thing to you. When something's not going up, speak or write in the notes doc quickly so that way we can help. In the worst that happens and you notice some very bad behavior, there's a code of conduct and that tells us tells you how you can let us know. So now comes to the fun part, things that can and will go wrong. So let's see, you'll get overloaded with information. This is just a certainty. So don't worry, change your watching style. When there's something that's too much, you can take a step back and instead of trying to understand everything right away and type along through the exercises, step back and watch it as a demo and come back to it later. Since we have videos which will be available immediately, that is, it's easy to review, unlike other courses. The note stock is too fast to follow it. Well, in that case, basically, just don't follow it. Um, I promise you at the end of the course, some people will come and say, this was good, but I couldn't follow all the Q&A. And I'll say, remember I told you this in the introduction? Okay, we can't solve your problems in the notes. So we can answer many questions and solve many problems live, but not everything. So some things are best solved by someone in your home by looking at your own screen. In this case, we recommend you try to find some local support and use them to help answer stuff. If we don't have time to cover everything, well, this is also just a fact. So we adjust and we uh, um, try to cover what's most interesting to our particular audience. So if there's something you want to cover, please ask about it so we know to make sure to make time. We have lots of optional and extra material in the lessons for you to study later for this purpose. We deviate from the schedule. We try to stay on track, but we adjust based on the course and the time and what people want. The notes lag and you can't edit or the text goes wrong. This sometimes happens with a high load. We've recently tried to upgrade to keep this better and usually it is pretty better, but sometimes it might happen in which case try switching to view mode and wait for things to calm down. But the real solution is that the staff needs to copy a lot of the old questions and move it to the archive document, which at the top of this, there should be a link to it. And that has all the old stuff that's been removed. 
if there's major accessibility problems. For example, if the audio quality is bad, the screen's not visible, the text is too small, things like that, tell us right away and we'll do something. Actually, speaking of that, does this text need to be a bit bigger now? Well, hopefully it's okay. Uh, the stream suddenly dies. So it's possible that the streaming computer, which is in front of me here, suddenly dies and the stream goes dark. In which case, just stay around. We'll restart it. We'll get it back. It might take a few minutes or maybe five minutes, something like that. But, well, yeah. And this doesn't happen often. It's only happened once ever, and that was during a break. So people didn't even notice. But still, yeah. If you don't have some important software installed or configured needed to do the exercises, well, sorry about that, but it's okay. Just switch to watching mode and work on figuring it out for the next day. Ask for help if needed. If you can't attend every day, review the material later. So the raw Twitch videos are available as soon as the stream is done and the full recording gets published to YouTube hopefully by the same day. A cat visits one of the instructors. This is actually not a problem. It's the opposite of a problem. So my cat visiting is usually one of the highlights of the courses. Unfortunately, right now I'm teaching from work here, but I will go and teach from home some days and hopefully it visits. The course is too cool and you want to know more. Well, check out the hints in the workshop outro. We give some different further study places. Join us a team leader to... Um, next time to learn more. Ask your local supporters for more information help and go through all the optional material. Okay, so some of the final notes here. Please register if you haven't yet. You'll get emails with us with updates. So each day you'll get some message that says, okay, here is what we did today. Here's what you prepare for the next day and other stuff. It helps with our reporting and ensures good funding for the future. Um, if you got emails directly from us, either from Radovan or from the Indico system, then you're registered. So some local partners say have told people not to register with us. You only register locally, and they forward information to people. That's completely okay. The registration link is in the notes. If you want to join us, please do. From our website, you can see how to get involved. We would really appreciate people helping us to put on these courses later. Since it's online, we can take instructors, helpers, team leaders, whatever, from all over the world. Join us in chat, read our manuals, whatever. Please follow us on social media, post about this course, stuff like that, especially when the cat visits. For privacy. So there's no way for your audio and video to end up being broadcasted or recorded. Clever people would figure out this is the reason why we're doing it as a live stream. This lets us make the videos immediately. But don't put identifiable identifiable information or names into the notes at any time because it will be recorded and we just don't want that. The notes contest content will be posted on the course page without names and all outputs are Creative Commons licensed. The website gives certain ways to get certificates from partners. So with that being said, I think my intro is done. Radovan, have I missed anything? This was a great intro. You are amazing on time. We are perfectly according to schedule. So I wanted to just repeat two, two things. Yes, cats visiting is the highlight of the workshop. Looking forward to that. So stay tuned. And um, if during the workshop you get stuck, something doesn't work, or you don't have time, you need to go to another meeting, uh, don't give up. It is okay to, to see parts of the workshop. If some lessons are more interesting than others, participate in the lessons that are more interesting. And Richard also said that we, ha we have too much material, but this is by choice. So it doesn't mean that we will be too slow. It means that we have chosen to give you more written material for later if you want it, but we will we will present parts of it, the parts that we think are most important in the three hours that we have per day. Really looking forward. Are we ready to start 
with version control in Git. Yeah, let's do it.